Hi friends, it's Miss O'Brien again. Okay, here's part two. I promised I was gonna tell you how to get your screenshots into Book Creator. So here's how we do it. So I'm in our Google Classroom for Miss Collins class and Miss Collins has given you the link and the code to get into Book Creator. Uh, you can also get to it, hopefully on your Chromebooks. I added the app at, and pinned it to your taskbar down here. So this rainbow looking um, square with a little book in it is also a direct link to to Book Creator. So either way you can get to it. Now you might want to either write down this code or copy it so that um, you can use it in just a second. So I'm going to open Book Creator and when I do I'm going to get to a screen like this. Now mine's already logged in as me but if I was not logged in as me it's going to give you a place where you can choose whether you are a teacher or a student and you're of course going to choose student and then you're going to enter that code that Miss Collins put right there and then once you enter that code it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Now I already have a new book that I was playing around with um, but yours is probably just going to have a white book. So you're going to choose your new book and you can choose the size of your book. I'm going to choose, you can even make comic strips. I think I'm just going to do a square. Nothing fancy. Okay, and so this is where the front cover of my book could be. Now the rest of this is pretty simple. Um, you can add by clicking the plus sign. You can add, um, you can import pictures. You can use the camera. There's a pen tool where you can draw on the screen. Text boxes. We're going to use text boxes a lot. And you can even record and narrate your book. So that's very cool. And over here we have our shapes. So you can use shapes and there's all sorts of different shapes you can use to, to illustrate. For this activity, Ms. Collins said she wanted you to import those screenshots, okay? So here's how we do that. Back on this, I'm going to hit my plus sign, and I'm going to go to import. And when I do import, this thing is going to pop up. It says I can choose a file from my computer, or I can connect a drive. Well, we have already saved our screenshots onto our Chromebooks, so we're going to choose the button that says choose a file from your computer. And when I do, the Chromebook um, Finder window will open up. And hopefully, by default, and if not, it's not there. I'm sorry, my drive is really full. One of your options over here is going to be Downloads. Okay, so I'm going to click on the Downloads um, link right here on the left-hand side, right, right where my mouse is. And you'll see all the different screenshots or pictures or things that I've downloaded. But all your screenshots should be right here at the top. So here are the two screenshots that I took earlier. This is the first one. So I'm going to choose the first one because it's the first page I want in my book. And I'll click open. And it'll take a second to upload. And there it is. So that, remember that was the first screenshot that I took. Now if I want to add the text that I want to write to go with it, I hit that plus in text. Now I can add text to go along with my illustration, period, because we always use punctuation and proper capitalization on there. And I click done, and it gave me a text box, so now I can move it where I want it to go. Now to add a new page, I'm just going to use this arrow button, go to the next page of my book, hit the plus sign again, import, choose a file from my computer, again go to the downloads folder. Now I'm going to choose the second picture that I took. Click the picture, press the open button, file is uploading, and voila, there's my lion picture. And again, actually you know what, this time I think I might put the picture down here, and I'm going to put my plus sign text box. This time I'm going to say the lion oops, is walking towards the librarian, period, and hit done. And there's my text. I can make it bigger if I want. If I double click it, I also have some options there. So I can make it bold. I can underline it. And when I'm finished, I hit done. Okay, so there's my text. And I would just keep adding new pages to go along with all my different illustrations. And that's really it. When I want to play my book, this play button up here allows me to my book to kind of go in presentation mode and I can flip the pages just like that.
Very cool. Now, I didn't put a cover on my book. I assume you guys are going to want to put a cover on your book or illustrate it or type it any way that you want. When you are finished, um, there, it automatically saves, so there's nothing you need to do about that. And Miss Collins will have all the books in your class book creator um, classroom. So then you'll be able to share your books and see each other's books and um, complete your assignment. So it's as simple as that. I hope you guys have fun. I cannot wait to see all the amazing books that you're going to, or the illustrations that you're going to insert into your book creator books. And good luck. I hope you have fun.